So it's been an interesting little journey for your ad as, as, a, as a young player, getting into sort of first team bits now, but I mean, I've known you many years, I've known you and your brothers since, since you were probably about nine year old. Yeah. Um, what I found interesting, you, you could always see your technical ability then, which was um, quite advanced for that age, but you end up staying in grassroots. So that was a thing that sort of your dad wanted for you, wasn't it? To, yeah. to experience that gross, grassroots bits before you ended up coming into our academy. How, how did you find that and, and do you think that's benefited you at all? Well, I think with grassroots you don't have a lot of travelling to do because obviously if I joined Morecambe in the earlier stages, mm. then I'd have been doing a lot of travelling when I, yeah. and I might have not lost interest, but yeah. sort of lost interest, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was playing with all my mates in grassroots and I enjoyed it and I always knew I was good, so I thought when the moment's right, I'll come in and try to take my opportunity. Yeah. So, ha so how how was that when you did eventually come into us? Because again, it was it's it, it could be a nervous time coming in on yeah, trial well, again after having years away and then yeah. and then coming back in with us. Well, obviously, I knew a few of the lads like Ellis and that, so it was easier to come in and just sort of blend in with the lads, and uh, they were very welcoming. So it was good for me, and yeah, I've got along well ever since. Yeah. No, I get. I think it was. I think you sort of kind of. I describe that you sort of, when you came in to for us to have a look at you. Very similar to how you've done when, once you've been in. It was very much a case of um, you got better and better as you went along, and, yeah. and ends up playing with when you're playing with better players, you tend to get better. Is what is what yeah. I've I've found. Is that something you found in in the games you've played in? Uh, yeah, it helps me a lot because obviously playing with better players makes me up my game as well. Yeah. So when I'm at the best, my abilities and talent comes out and shows. Yeah. So how did you find it coming in full time again with, with the scholars and and then that transition into slowly getting drip fed into the first team stuff? How's that been for you? Well, obviously football is what I want to do. So playing football every day, getting paid for it is something I love doing, and I can't really fault anything about playing football for Morecambe. And playing with the first team, obviously, it's a big step up, but I think I've developed well with the time I've had, and it's just getting better, and I'm enjoying it more yeah. as the day goes. It's an interesting one, but even for sort of fans who would watch this, because again, you're you're still 16. Yeah. You're not 17 till when is it? Oh, back, back end of August. Yeah, 29th. 29th of August. So yeah. you're very young, and for someone so young to have that opportunity in a first team, it must be almost a little bit surreal at times. Yeah. Well, obviously, when you come here, the main goal is to get on the first team pitch and play with them. So I thank the manager really for giving me an opportunity to try show what I'm made of. Yeah. and see what I can do on the pitch and when the time comes and I'll try to take my opportunity and do as best as I can. Yeah. Um. I think it's I think it's helped as well how well the eighteens have done this season. Yeah. It's uh, it's definitely by far our sort of best performance in in the Youth Alliance League this year and from an academy perspective it's very much a lot of sort of hard work from our from the staff down the years has come to this point. And it's yeah. great to see it being really successful. Have you have you found being in a team that's kind of almost expected to win most weeks well all the lads are so close together it just helps so much on the team because obviously we all work for each other and we've all got the same mentality that we want to win games and we're not going to go there and just it's just going to be a, a mess around and we're not going to try win games go go there to win mm. and obviously being mates it's just so much better playing football with people that you enjoy being with and instead of just messing around you know what I mean so it's yeah. So good. Yeah. yeah, we've got we've got to the stage in the academy now where we we feel like we've got real depth of quality yeah. all the way down the ages. How have you how have you sort of seen the younger lads, even younger than you, now coming through the sort of under 16s and 15s have been training with us this yeah. week, and some have been involved in in the games on a Saturday. Is, is there sort of anyone that's impressed you? Uh, I think Billy's done well when he's came in. Yeah, he's had his chances. He works hard, so I think that's all he can ask for when they come. Just to bring your socks off really and put a shift in for the team yeah so and it's again it is it's, it's something that again to have a high performing 18s team but to yeah. have younger lads to come in who, who you can rely on is, is is really important and i think that certainly bodes well for, for the academy and a football yeah. club going forwards it's really important for us that we that we maintain that and we keep looking to improve the players that you have and, and keep getting good players into the football club which we're we're still trying to do